Hey guys, welcome to another penny coin hunt with me, Richie. And if you notice, we're on a new angle. I made a new rig so we can have the camera up high. And it, if I want to, I can just smoothly move the camera around now. Oh, how cool is that? Right. In this video, we're finishing off our first ten pounds in pennies. So I think there's probably there's three bags that are sealed and one that's come open in the actual packet. So let's just pour all them all out. There is bag there for some reason came open and there's loads in the actual packet so let's just pour all this out and hopefully everything yep hopefully we're gonna find something so what do you guys think about this new looking down on the coins um, angle I basically saw a video where someone converted a IKEA light into a camera rig so I hope it works good and you will like it so let me know what you think a little bit wobbly but just need to play around and get used to it so do you like the new camera angle because I think it's going to be actually pretty cool because now we can do like that we're underneath the light a bit nicer lighting as well so I hope everyone is doing good if you want to see how to make this camera rig, sorry, that's the strap, um, let me know and I'll show you what I did to make it. What year is that? That's 2015. So I'm hoping there's something good in here. We still have another £10 to go through that I got, but where I've been super busy just not had the time to go through it all so uh, on the well, what's the day today it's bank holiday Monday and the weather has been amazing so I'm hoping everyone's like enjoyed their bank holiday it's a lovely 2008 there and the ones that gone out enjoyed the sun that we had if you had the sun I know here in London we had amazing sunshine. Don't know if you can see. I got a bit of a tan. <laughs> but yeah, we got an amazing, amazing sun today. I think we got up to like 28 degrees on my thermometer. And it is still, oh, it's gone down to 22 now. Oh. I'll keep checking that I'm in camera frame. Camera's up a bit higher now, just under. Look at that. That's odd. Looks like it's been clean, like it's been corroded on that side. But then you can see a nice clean streak going through. Interesting. So let's see, hopefully we get anything in here. Yeah, so if you want to see how to do this camera rig, it's so easy. It cost, oh, how much did it cost? It was like nine pounds for the light. You do have to sacrifice a light for it. But you know what? It's really cool. 
it is actually a really cool little um, rig. It can go up higher, so I can make it go further away and have a further field like that. I can bring it really close. And it's just really cool. There's another super corroded one. Almost, you can see the corrosion's actually pitted that one. That one's not going to go through the machine. When I take these back to the bank. <laughs> so let's keep going. I'm turning all the ones that's got the queen's head up. Uh, we all know why. Because we never know what's going to be under there. Just need to think I need to work on this lighting. Maybe move the lighting over there. We'll try it on the next video. Yeah, there's a bit too much shading going on. What year is that? Whoa, look at that. 96. Is that 96? Mm hmm that's going to the side look how lovely that 1996 is keep that to the side might be a replacer another reason why I've got this camera rig is because when we look at um, the collection couldn't really get an entire page in frame so I wanted something that's going to be able to help us do that as well. So I think this video is going to run a little bit long because I was playing around with the actual camera stand that I put together. So yeah, when you put it together you just need a couple of things. I think in total, spent about ten pounds on it, which is actually not too bad. Because <clears throat> funny, we went for a walk in local marshland today, and we ended up in IKEA. I don't know how, <clears throat> but we just kept walking, and then came to the end of the path which was right next to an Ikea so I was like hmm went there and bought some candles what year is that? it's 2008 um, bought some candles and this light <coughs> I've actually kept the light part of it because I'm going to get um, some soldering iron and stuff and I'm thinking to repurpose it or something maybe make a filming <coughs> excuse me a filming light or something there's another 94 I think we've had quite a few of these nice 94s what is that 2015 I can't actually remember. We haven't had great success in this batch. I don't think. I think we had um, Falkland Islands find. It's a nice 05. Um, Falkland Islands find. But that's about it when it comes to cool finds. At the moment. <clears throat> that's the way it goes sometimes. We're going to have some searches where it's amazing. Others were not so much. But that's how coin hunting goes. 2015. Let's see what else. There's got to be something in here. Hope the sound actually. The sound should be good because I'm right next to the microphone. What year is that one? That's a 13. Might just put that to the side. Just in case, you know. Could be a swapper. Let's 
Come on. Let's do like the 50s. Took all the 50 pences back today as well. I've recently been searching through, grabbed 400 pounds of them, and I thought, oh, I thought that was a 2017 from there then. What is this? It's a nice 2000, just keep that to the side. Seems at the moment all we're doing is finding shiny ones to see if they're going to replace whatever's in the book there's nothing particular here oh there's a nice lovely shiny shiny one which is a 2015 so it's a <coughs> batch of pennies it's not been the best I don't think to be honest Hopefully the next batch that we got is going to be better. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely need to move that light. Got some dark patches there. And too much reflection here. So in the next video you'll probably see the light been moved. Try and get rid of some shadows. Trial of error. I want to make the videos look a bit better for you guys. We're getting quite close, or well, we're still a couple of hundred away from a thousand, but <clears throat> I want to make sure all you guys that watch my videos. Enjoy them. So nothing there. I don't think there's going to be anything. We're going to be really close to the end now. It's the last little handful. And then what we do is we grab the... Quickly grab the book. It's just behind me on the television cabinet. And then we see about replacing these four so last ones nothing so let's grab the book right now this is going to be a test there's the book and look we can pan up now and see the whole page. How cool is that? So what years did we get here? Let's check that 2000. Where is the 2000? 3, 2, 1. No, 2000 can go in there. Next one is 2013. There is a dirty one now. What year is that? That is a 2013, that dirty one. So we're going to replace that. Come out you. With that. And then we pop the little tab back in there. Oops, come on. There you go. That's better, look at that. Very shiny there. Then what was this one? That was an 05. I don't think. I think it's on the other page. We need to change the fives. No, the five already looks good there. But there was this lovely 97. So let's have a look. So I've just pulled it out. What do you think? There's the 97, the old one. And there's the new one. I think I'm going to put the new one in. Come on out. There we go. 
and we're going to put a new one in. Then you just put a tap. So a slightly longer video, but we've got to replace. We didn't find anything. Oh, I've messed up the book. There we go, and there we go, and we lock it in. A bit of shake there. Well, this is the book I've got for my UK ones. I will be doing a video. There's still a few missing. I mean, we've got all the five P's except that one. Can't remember what year that is, but that's a um, year set one, and people want like twenty pounds for it. Found a ninety-eight actually in my change the other day. The 50 pences, the Q Gardens, found in a video not long ago. So, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here before I start talking about the collection that's in this book. So, guys, if you made it this far, sorry, it might be a bit wobbly, still practicing. But, yeah, guys, if you made it this far, please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And thank you very, very much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. So happy coin hunting guys. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.